Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Saturday, no, today's Sunday the 28th, absolutely, absolutely beautiful day today, it was absolutely stunning on so many different levels, virtually not a cloud in the sky anywhere, nice breeze, temperatures were in the high 60s, um, I think, well, I probably was in the 70s, I bet it's probably maybe the 70s, maybe, I don't know, high 60s, low 70s, something like that, but either way, absolutely, absolutely just gorgeous damn day it was so damn nice um ended up um camping out not in the driveway anymore um ended up out here at a walmart and and new Smyrna beach florida had a great night uh, except for a guy who kept starting his um van up that had this exhaust i swear to god off a of harley so damn loud uh, but every couple hours he started up and rev it up a while and i can't turn the heat on so definitely that was a bad part so tonight uh, my plan is to park somewhere, which I'm parked way away from the rest of the idiots and the, um, that same guy who had his exhaust was louder and crap. So, um, went ahead, um, got this morning, got a handful of things done, uh, went for a run fairly early, um, ended up going to get a shower. Um, having a gym, like 24 hour access and a shower is phenomenal. Absolutely, um, is changing the way I'm this whole camping out thing in the van. So, from there, um, got my run on, um, had met a ton of people on the run. Scoped a little bit. Got to see Bruce interacting with some other dogs and all that good stuff. It was definitely a good time there. From there, um, decided I was going to... I did a couple things around town here, nothing much. Um, ended up heading out to, out to the um, Ponds Point, the um, North Shore, and it's called. And it's dog-friendly, so I took the dog out there. Absolutely just had a damn blast. Um, hung around the edge of the beach and stuff there quite a while. Actually went swimming for a little bit. Before I went swimming, I saw an awesome, gorgeous, about two-foot-long um, black tick black tip wreath shark absolutely stunning little guy i was like holy shit try to get a camera and it wouldn't show up in the water in the underwater than that with the camera so i got close and then i think it's thing it spotted me it rolled and just took off back out to deep water so but he was probably only i don't know maybe a foot and a half deep water it was shallow as all get out and like i said just a little like two footer so not a lot of body mass to it wouldn't have been able to do any real damage to a human or nothing and that was exciting. And then, um, I'd say probably an hour later or so, I sent out there. I was deciding to go swimming, and I just saw a freaking shark. But I'm like, yeah, let's go swimming. No big deal. I uh, went ahead and said to hell with it. And before I went out there, I ended up spotting a couple of dolphins, which I didn't see. But somebody else actually spotted them, pointed them out to me. And I'm like, holy shit, those are dolphins. So technically, I swam with the dolphins, and I swam with the sharks, if you want to get really technical. Because they were like right there in the same vicinity uh, when I was in the water. Didn't see any while swimming, didn't actually interact with any, but it was definitely, um, it was a great time, absolutely beautiful time. Set in some shade, I got to where I realized in the sun a little too long, so I decided to hold it, went over and sat on the um, back away from the shore, and sat underneath the shade of some palm trees, and just beautiful breeze, and no cigar, nothing like that, which is why I probably should have done, but just absolutely sat there, probably six and a half to seven hours I spent at the beach, just absolutely loving every damn minute of it. It was just insanely, except for, I guess, I picked up a splinter in my heel on the way out. I was trying to walk out um, barefoot, and that did not go real well for me. But I got the splinter out. wasn't bad. But just absolutely, absolutely, absolutely had a wonderful time. It was just phenomenal. So many different levels. I had some drama and some bullshit that kind of was dumped on me yesterday and early today and still going ongoing tonight. And that sucks, but I was able to kind of de-stress the best I could during that situation and go have some fun. Like I said, I was swimming in the ocean. It was cold as hell. The water was chilly. And there was, I just saw a damn little reef shark and I saw a couple dolphin before that or after the reef shark. So definitely, um, yeah, you don't get that opportunity for much. Also, I did walk into a house on the way to the beach, um, stopped in a house to, um, open house. It was for sale, looked around, thought, who knows, maybe I'll move down here and I'm not living on the island. That's all I can tell you. That is no way in hell I'm going to be able to afford to live on an island. That was an insanely overpriced um, house. That was 650s, what they're asking, 649 to get exact. And beautiful house, but with the size of the lot and the, you know, the house it was and whatnot, I'd say that same house, if it was up in Iowa where I'm from, and like my town, you've probably been looking at, you know, at most 100 grand, 125,000 at most, I guess. And this thing's 650. So there is definitely a lot of money you're paying for just land. And that's. One of the things you gotta have to deal with, and you have to accept in that when you want to live near an ocean, it's gonna have a lot higher price. But overall, hung out there for the night. Um, went back over to Snap Fitness again to get cleaned up, which is 
just awesome. I love the idea of being able to get into Snap Fitness 24 seven. And that was a great, great way. So talked to a couple of different people, um, talked to Camper Van Kevin, asked him for a favor that hopefully he's going to be able to do for me tomorrow. And then end up talking to, um, into the mystery, uh, 13, I guess like that, but the, um, dude living out of the Astro van and we're going to try and meet up uh, Thursday is right now tentative what we're looking at. And that right there is going to be awesome. I'm just meeting up with all the YouTube and Twitter and Periscope people and loving all the damn time of this. Like I was kind of whining and feeling bad about myself with the fact that I had not bought the, I couldn't find an RV for sale. And I was, I realized I'm like, I'm running around Florida. I'm not punching some shitty time clock to barely uh, make my payments and stuff. I'm living a pretty damn good life right now and said to hell with it. So I got myself cheered up, which is what I was mainly after. So got all excited and got all cheered up. And now all I got to do is get myself some rest and try it again tomorrow. So you guys have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.